Good evening and magandang Jensen. I am Sheridan GNB Sablos, here to represent a group of second year students from General Santos City High School. Um, we are going to conduct an interview with um, the president of the Golden State College, Ms. Josia Theodore. And that's it. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening to you, ma'am. In behalf of the group, I would like to express our deepest gratitude for giving us this special opportunity. Um, let's start with the interview, ma'am. From the term ancestral house, does it imply that your ancestors have really resided, resided in this area? No, not really. They are residents of Batangas. Only the house was transported to Jensen. Since one of the attractions of the ancestral home is the collection of the antiques, when did this collection start? It started from the household equipment, tools, materials, and utensils that they utilized previously in their old house in Batangas, Batangas. and added up with collections and purchases. So, ma'am, I read from this article in the internet that um, the house was about to be destroyed or something like it that? It was supposed to be destroyed because nobody stayed there. So uh, they decided to yes. preserve them. Yes. Uh, so they decided to transport the, the, the remains of the house to here in Japan. Okay. Um, how was... It is a common knowledge that Pinoy's, in general, really opt for generating an income for anything or any venture. What motivated the family to make this attraction available for the public for free? Uh, this is not actually for, for public.